Should the U.S. ban TikTok? That is a question being debated on Capitol Hill right now, all over security concerns tied to China. This week, I talked to Rebecca Klar from The Hill, who was clued into everything tech-related in D.C. All right, Rebecca, thanks so much for being with us today. Uh, let's talk about TikTok. This has quickly become a lightning rod here in the U.S., a ban passing the U.S. House by a pretty big margin, and now it's sitting there in the Senate. What are the chances you actually think this thing becomes law? Yeah, so I think what we've seen so far is this bill that's advanced out of the House with broad bipartisan support, which is rare. And what the bill could do is essentially lead to a potential ban on TikTok. It would give that roughly five-month window for ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, to sell TikTok or face this ban. And we have seen President Biden come out and say that if Congress were to pass it, he would sign it. A lot of the concern here is obviously the Chinese link. From what you've seen, you've been reporting, are the Chinese actively using this to try and pry into Americans' lives? Or do you think that concern is more theoretical at this point? Right. So, you know, what I think is a, a bit of a concern here is that so, so much of what lawmakers that are in support of this are saying is based on these classified briefings that the public doesn't have access to. We've seen a bit of a push today from supporters of this bill, actually, um, calling for that classified information to be made public, um, both to help, you know, especially to help the public understand this. It's a popular app, especially with younger users. And, mm -hmm. you know, say that this would help them un understand that better, I think. And how exactly would a ban effectively work? If I'm using TikTok today for fun or my small business, could it be gone tomorrow in six months? How would this play out? Right. So, you know, even if this bill were to be signed into law that passes the Senate, clears the president's desk, it leaves that five month window in which um, TikTok could be sold. I think what we could also expect to see is that ByteDance has said that they would not sell TikTok um, when this has come up in, in the past under the Trump administration, under states that have pursued this and have pursued a court challenge and and similar bans have been essentially blocked. So that's another way that this could play out. Um, but on the, the technical side, what the bill would do is it would ban it from U.S. app stores as well as web hosting services. And finally, what do other social media companies think of all this? Meta, Facebook, Twitter, or X? Are you hearing a big outcry from any of them? Yeah, I think it's interesting. We've seen a lot of that focus and criticism on some of these U.S.-based tech platforms, even recently over issues like kid safety um, and election concerns. Sure. I think that we've been pretty quiet on this, and I think it takes some of that spotlight off of them and that attention off of them. Good point. Rebecca Clara, tech reporter for The Hill, thanks so much for the time. Chris, thank you for having me.